Right, so quite exciting. I've uh, finally got the registration document back from the DVLA. So I've ordered a number plate. So we have to put that on shortly and I've got it insured for next week. So looking forward to getting it on the road. Something I've realised though is that it doesn't have a rear reflector, which is a legal requirement here in the UK. So I've had a rummage round and uh, found this this old one. Um, as I happen to have in my bicycle boxes bits. So I'm trying to think of somewhere to put it. Obviously the number plate will be here. So I've just taken a screw out of here. I'm thinking that it can actually go onto that screw. It's a bit high, but at least it's legal. I need a spacer, see anything, a tubular spacer, just uh, about uh, ooh, 20 mil long, just to keep it off the, uh, the mudguard. So I'll see what I've got and give that a go. So this is the screw that came out. It's quarter inch, I guess. Something um, imperial anyway. Just try that. Oops, fractions. Yeah, 32, 128 quarter inch. So um, six mil will do. So it needs a longer bolt, so I can't use a, use that one again. That's quite a lot longer. Six mil. Got a few in here. Is that one the same length? Yeah, pretty much. That's just slightly longer. Okay, so one of those might do. So what I need now is a spacer. My spacer tray. So there's that one, which isn't far off, it's not stainless, but uh, that might work. So we'll come up to, say there, which is about 20 mil. Yeah, I think that might do it. That's not a six mil hole, so I need to drill that out. It's okay, it's not far off, but it's, uh, yeah, not quite. Okay, I'll clean this up and drill it out and take it from there. So this is cleaned up quite nicely. Looks like it's um, a cat eye brand, Japanese made. The people that make cycle lamps and such like. That's a bit of Scotch Bright, just done the wonders on it. So, yeah, that should do. Okay, so that's a six mil hole. So, if the nut goes to there, this needs to be cut down to about there, I think. Give that a try. It's getting hot. So let's just deep out of this. See if that's long enough. So this will go through there now, through the space and then through the mudguard. That's the plan. And it might just be long enough not to hit the mudguard. We'll see. It's touch and go, I think. Get a washer and a nut for that one. Use a dome now. Hmm. 
There we go. Nine o'clock. So this is going to be long enough. I think it might just work. It's just clear of the the mud guard. Just resting on it. And that'll do for me. This uh, spanner is rubbish. Try and find a better one. Try something more conventional. They just wouldn't go into the curve of the the mud guard. And um, this has this. It's not just a hex. It's a sort of weird um, series of splines. Virtually, I think there's probably twelve of them rather than six. Well, it's well normally, but it's a bit of a pain on this one. Yeah, that's better. Okay. It's pretty solid. Could actually do it bending that way a bit. Right, well, at least that should be road legal, I think. Must be with a bike like this, I guess it kind of attracts attention. So it's well to have it uh, as legal as possible. Right, so I reckon that's going to be legal now with a rear reflector that meets uh, BS standards. Good. All I need now is the uh, registration plate, and I'm have a chance of getting it on the road. Thanks for watching.